just making my case here for why I think this was a high stick on Gabe Velarde on the puck. So you can see right here, Gabe Velarde's stick is very close to the puck, but it hasn't touched it yet. But keep an eye on the blade of Velarde's stick as this puck continues to come up and into his zone. As the puck comes up, you see Gabe Velarde's stick. See how it starts to tilt like that? Lifts up over those couple of frames. It comes back down. This is because it's making contact with the puck. Either that, look, right there. You can see it. You can see the contact into Gabe Velarde's stick. Either that or Gabe Velarde is twisting his wrists and his blade perfectly to avoid touching this puck, which I don't think is what happened. So I do think this puck was touched as a high stick by Gabe Velarde. The other half of this is that it does hit off of Matthias Ekholm in the shoulder on its way down, but per the NHL rules analyst that TNT had on the show, it was not possession, and that is what is required to negate the high stick. So, shouldn't have been a goal.